After studying this module, you shall be able to learn about the metal clusters, non-rigidity in metal clusters, metal clusters with pi acid ligands and capping principle. The compounds containing a large number of metal-metal bonds forming triangular and larger structures are called cluster compounds. However, these also include linear MM bonds. The metal clusters can also be defined as an entity that contains a metal-metal bond. Therefore, any metal complex having a bond between two metal ions is called a metal cluster. Metal-metal multiple bonding is an important feature of the chemistry of many transition elements and is very important to the field of metal cluster chemistry. They constitute an important class of multiple bonds unlike multiple bonds between the main group elements and multiple metal ligand bonds. Multiple metal-metal bonds of the order 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5 and 4 are well known. Criteria for the metal cluster formation is as follows. There is a general trend that transition metals having large energies of atomization like zirconium, niobium, molybdenum, technetium, ruthium, rhenium, hafnium, tantalum, tungsten, rhenium, osmium, iridium and platinum display higher tendency to form metal clusters. Nature of the d orbital the effect of nuclear charge is inversely related to the size of the d orbital. Higher nuclear charge tends to reduce the effective overlap of the d orbitals which is unfavorable for the cluster formation. For example, the first row transition metals with higher oxidation states plus 2 and plus 3 do not offer sufficient orbital overlap and therefore possess an unfavorable situation towards the cluster formation. Chemical compounds that can undergo intramolecular rearrangements in usually reachable temperature ranges fall under the category of stereochemically non-rigid molecules. These molecules undergo constant dynamic interconversions into various stereoisomers at room temperature. According to IUPAC, stereochemical non-rigidity can be defined as the capability of a molecule to undergo fast and reversible intramolecular isomerization, the energy barrier to which is lower than the allowing for the preparative isolation of the individual isomers at room temperature. The energy barriers to these defined rearrangements fall into the range of 5 to 20 kilocalories per mole or 21 to 85 kilojoules per mole. Now, we shall have a look at the pi acid or pi acceptor ligands. A variety of transition metal form cluster compounds and complexes with special types of ligands such as carbon monoxides, isocyanides, substituted phosphines, nitric oxides, pyridines, bipyridines, etc. These ligands possess vacant pi orbitals in addition to lone pairs. These vacant orbitals have the ability to accept the electron density from the filled metal orbitals to form a type of pi bonding apart from the sigma bonding arising from the lone pair donation from the ligand to metal. As a result of this property, these ligands can stabilize the low oxidation state of the metal ions by delocalizing the high electron density on the metal atom onto the ligands. This ability of the ligands to accept electron density into low-lying empty pi orbitals is described as pi acidity in terms of the Lewis concept of acidity. These ligands thus form bonds to the metal ions by using sigma orbitals and perform pi acidity by using their pi orbitals. For example, in the metal carbonyl clusters, the metal carbonyl bonding can be described in terms of resonance hybrid structures shown of metal carbonyl. The molecular diagram of these metal ligand bonds shows a dative overlap of the filled carbon sigma orbital and second dative overlap of a filled d pi or hybrid d p pi metal orbital with an empty antibonding p pi orbital of the carbon monoxide. This mechanism is called the synergic effect which shifts the metal electron density into the carbon monoxide orbitals causing an increased basicity of the ligand. 
at the same time drift of the ligand electron density to the metal ligand sigma bond to make the ligands positive thereby enhancing the electron acceptor strength of the pi orbitals. This has been depicted in figure A and B. In metal carbonyl clusters, carbonyl ligands display various bonding modes, few of which are shown. The cage structures of metal clusters display greater diversity than that of boranes. Hence, it is difficult to elucidate the structure of high nuclearity metal clusters simply by applying the Wade's rule. The Kappen principle allows the satisfactory rationalization of some cages such as OS6 carbonyl 18 by considering that the addition of one or more capping units to a delta hedral cage requires no additional bonding electrons where a capping unit is a cluster fragment placed over the triangular face of the central cage. Now we shall study about the application of wage rule to rationalize the structure of OS6CO18. OS6CO8 can be broken down into 6 OSCO3 fragments. Each OSCO3 unit provides two cluster bonding electrons. Hence, total number of electrons available in OS6CO18 equals to 6 into 2 equals to 12 electrons which is equal to 6 pair of electrons. Thus, OS6CO18 has 6 electron pair to bond with 6 cluster units which corresponds to a structure that is monocapped trigonal bipyramid. The example has been shown as OS6CO18. The electron count is 6 into the osmium plus 18 into the carbonyl minus 60 for 6 osmium atoms which gives rise to equal to 24. Since n is equal to 6, 4n is 24, so the cluster is capped closer. Starting from a trigonal bipyramid, a face is capped. The carbonyls have been omitted for clarity. A closer octahedron cage requires 7 pairs of electrons but OS6CO18 has only 6 electron pairs. Now we shall have a look at the stereochemical non-rigidity in RHCO15L complex. The metal carbonyl complexes and clusters undergo a variety of fluxional processes such as ligand exchange and rearrangements in solution at room temperature which can be identified by various nuclear magnetic resonance techniques. These techniques make it possible to establish both the ligand movements and the parts involved. However, in the case of NMR inactive species where the spin is not equal to half forming such high nuclearity systems, it becomes very difficult to unambiguously assign the several independent and interdependent fluxional processes because they may occur with similar activation energies. In metal carbonyl system, C13 NMR technique coupled with two-dimensional NMR measurements offers a handy tool to elucidate the movements of different carbonyl groups around the cluster skeleton. Moreover, the analysis of one-dimensional NMR spectra has provided the thermodynamic parameters for the observed carbonyl ligands exchange process. It can be deduced from the C13 NMR spectra that RH6CO15 L complex at low temperature in solution that both the number and multiplicity of the C13 carbonyl resonances are consistent with the CS symmetry of the solid state structure as shown in figure. It shows the schematic representation of the structure of RH6 carbonyl 15 L complex showing the atom labeling scheme where A, B, C, B dash, C dash, D represent rhenium atoms and number represents the carbonyl carbon atoms. One of the several processes involves exchange only of C1O with C4O together with the oscillations of ligand between the two terminal sites. As a result of this localized movements, there occurs other symmetry related transformations of C2O and C3O, C5O and C7O, C6O and C8O. The exact mechanism involves either the transformation of the face bridging C1O carbonyl ligand into an edge bridging in then into a terminal FET or the direct shift of C1O into a terminal site which is also called turnstile rotation TSR. 
figure shows the possible mechanism of exchange of carbonyl in RH6 carbonyl 15 ligand complex. FET involves the concerted breaking or formation of renal carbonyl bonds, whereas the TSR mechanism requires simultaneously breaking of the two rhenium carbonyl bonds followed by rotation. The carbonyls involved in the intramolecular exchange are strongly dependent on the nature of the ligand. There is no clarity on the driving forces for these processes and may probably depend on both structural and electronic effects induced by L. Now we shall study about the stereochemical non-rigidity exhibited by the heteronuclear metal clusters. The mixed metal cluster compounds of the general formula Cu2, Ru4, Mu3H twice, carbonyl 12, L2 complex where L is PMEPH2, PME2PH, PET thrice, PME3, etc. undergo dynamic behavior involving coinage metal site exchange in the solution between minus 90 degrees and ambient temperatures. The variable temperature P31H1NMR has been utilized to calculate the free energies of activation for these intramolecular metal core rearrangements of these heteronuclear metal cluster compounds. This dynamic behavior which involves coinage metal site exchange is observed when the MPR3 moieties adopt structurally inequivalent positions in the ground state geometries of such clusters. For example, Cu2, Ru4, Mu3H twice, carbonyl 12, PPH3 twice adopts a capped trigonal bipyramidal metal core structure having two geometrically distinct Cu PPH3 sites. However, only a single resonance was observed in the ambient temperature P31 H1 NMR spectrum of the cluster. Figure shows the structure of Cu2 Ru4 Mu3 H twice carbonyl 12 L2 where L can be PME PH2, PME2 PH, PET thrice or PME thrice. At ambient temperatures, the P31 H1 NMR spectrum consists of a singlet broadened by quadrupolar effects from the copper atom. However, at low temperatures, the singlet due to phosphorus atom is split into two resonances. In the ambient temperature, the H1 NMR spectrum, the high field hydride ligand signals are triplets due to the coupling with two phosphorus atoms. Whereas these peaks occur as doublets at minus 90 degrees Celsius, where only one phosphorus atom is expected to show coupling to the hydrido atoms. It can be inferred from the NMR data that the fluxional process occurring for these clusters is intramolecular because the P31H1 NMR coupling is retained in the temperature range of minus 90 degrees to room temperature. Now we shall summarize what we have learned in the module. The compounds containing a large number of metal metal bonds forming triangular and larger structures are called cluster compounds. Metal metal multiple bonding is an important feature of the chemistry of many transition elements. Chemical compounds that are, can undergo intramolecular rearrangements in usually reachable temperatures range fall under the category of stereochemically non-rigid molecules. The Kappen principle allows the satisfactory rationalization of some cages such as OS6CO18. According to IUPAC, stereochemical non-rigidity can be defined as the capability of the molecule to undergo fast and reversible intramolecular isomerization, the energy barrier to which is lower than that allowing for the preparative isolation of the individual isomers at room temperature. RH6CO15L cluster displays stereochemical non-rigidity in solution by face bridging carbonyl ligand into an edge bridging and then into a terminal or the direct shift of carbonyl into a terminal side which is also called turnstile rotation TSR. The mixed metal cluster compounds of the general formula Cu2, Ru4, Mu3H twice, CO12, L2 where L can be PME PH2, PME2 PH, PET thrice or PME3 etc. undergo dynamic behavior involving 
coinage metal site exchange in solution between minus 90 degrees centigrade and ambient temperatures.